Mr. President, in America, we call this is bringing the press in out of the cold. And it's also left. That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad to see you again after a successful summit we had with some of the Americans in June. And we've been able to return, we've been able to return a small amount of hospitality. Your family showed my wife Jill when she's visited uh, Quito over the spring. She enjoyed it so much I wasn't sure she was coming home. <laughs> Today we're going to keep building on the progress we've made. Together we've made historic strides on migration. And this afternoon we'll discuss how we can deepen our security and our economic partnership even further than it is right now. Y esta tarde vamos a hablar de cómo podemos profundizar nuestras relaciones en el tema de seguridad y economía. That includes our new uh, joint investment programs uh, that address security needs for Ecuador's prison system, your justice sector, and your maritime security. En realidad, <coughs> vamos también a hablar de cuáles fueron las inversiones conjuntas que hemos realizado para satisfacer necesidades que ustedes han demostrado tener en el tema de prisión, de justicia, entre otros. And Mr. President, since we both understand that, uh, that uh, working families are the backbone of both our economies, uh, I, I look forward to discussing how we can keep delivering for those families under the America's Partnership for Economic Prosperity. In reality, we understand the importance of the families, which are a vertebral column of the economic development of our countries. So we're going to see how we can work together to fulfill the objectives del plan de alianza para el desarrollo en la prosperidad. Para ambos países. And finally, I want to thank you for your moral leadership, your condemnation of Putin's brutal war against the Ukrainian people that continues in ways we haven't seen for generations. En realidad, le quería agradecer por su liderazgo moral que usted ha demostrado al condenar el ataque brutal que ha hecho Rusia en contra de Ucrania. You and I are united not only in our values, but in our vision of the future, one that's both free and, and, and democratic. In realidad, nosotros estamos unidos también en valores, en valores que demuestran la visión que nosotros tenemos para el futuro, un futuro que es libre y democrático. And in the new year, as Ecuador begins its term on the UN Security Council, I look forward to continuing to work together to make this vision a reality. I want to thank you very much for making the effort to be here. Y en realidad, también vamos a, le quiero felicitar que ustedes van a ser parte de el Consejo de Seguridad de Naciones Unidas. Vamos a seguir trabajando juntos en, en este foro para poder entonces hacer de la visión que tenemos una realidad. Así que muchísimas gracias por haber venido aquí a hoy. As I used to say in the legislative body, I work the United States Senate. The floor is yours. Y como decíamos en el cuerpo legislativo en el Senado donde yo trabajé, me pasó la palabra. Muchas gracias, Presidente Biden. Para mí también es un gusto estar acá visitándolo luego de nuestro encuentro en Los Ángeles y esos muy gratos momentos que vivimos con la visita de su esposa, la doctora Biden. Thank you very much, Mr. President. For me, it is also a pleasure to hear, uh, to be here with you after our very nice visit together in Los Angeles, and also after that very pleasant visit with you and your wife, Jill, in Quito. Esta es una gran oportunidad para reafirmar aquellos valores democráticos de libertad, de respeto a los derechos humanos que compartimos junto con el glorioso pueblo de Estados Unidos. So, with, for us, this is a great opportunity to come here and to reaffirm the democratic freedom and human rights values that we share with the glorious people of the U.S. Sin duda, hemos sido aliados por décadas. Y Lo que yo espero es reafirmar ese espíritu entre aliados 
para luchar por esa democracia, esa paz, esa justicia, tanto en nuestra región como apoyar a los esfuerzos de su gobierno por alcanzar esos valores también en el mundo. Without a doubt, yes, we have been allies for decades now, and I am here to reaffirm that spirit that we share among us as allies to, in our fight for democracy, for peace, and for justice, not only in the region, but also to support your vision throughout the world. Fuimos el primer país de Latinoamérica en condenar el ataque de Rusia a Ucrania porque creemos en el multilateralismo, creemos en el Estado de Derecho Internacional y creemos en el diálogo como la mejor fórmula para resolver diferencias. Nada más extraño al siglo XX que luego de una pandemia tengamos una guerra. Uh, so we were the first country in Latin America to condemn the awful war uh, from Russia into Ukraine. We believe in multilateralism and we also believe in the rule of law. And we also support dialogue as the means for solving differences and disputes. It is really remarkable to see that after a pandemic, we are now facing a war. Ya habrá oportunidad para luego de la visita de los amigos de la prensa poder tratar otros temas de interés común. So we will have a chance after we visit with our friends of the press to share more of uh, the issues we have in common. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We have a lot to, a lot to talk about. You have been a, a great friend, a significant supporter of that goes both ways. We have to figure out how to expand and strengthen even the already strong position. Bueno, muchísimas gracias, Navidad. Hace muchísimo que somos amigos y tenemos que ver la forma de poder seguir apoyándonos mutuamente para expandir y profundizar esta relación. I want to thank the press for coming in. We're going to send you back out in the cold. Gracias, por venir. Nos mando de vuelta aquí. Always not much further down, so it gets warm. Mr. President, thank you.